On March 16th, I left Hagersville and headed north to Thunder Bay. On March 17th, I traveled from Thunder Bay to Saskatchewan. And then on March 18th, I traveled from Saskatchewan to Edmonton to Free Spirit Marine, where I picked up the boat which was perfectly wrapped for winter weather, and I headed back to Saskatchewan. On March 19th, I traveled from Saskatchewan to Thunder Bay, and on March 20th, I traveled from Thunder Bay to Hagers. Overall, the trip was 75 and a half hours of driving at 7,165 kilometers. The following day, Trevor and I got busy on wrapping the boat. We installed the camper top and parked it in the location where we could begin the modifications. Hello, this is uh, Crow speaking. Uh, I had promised to do a video of our new Explorer 682 back in the spring, but now I have taken the boat out. Our fishing season's over and I've got it all cleaned up and now I have time to do a video. So let's take a look. So here's the Evinrude 15 E-Tech HO kicker. And it's hard to tell, but I, what I did do was put a, a Garmin Reactor 40 auto kicker on it. There's a servo motor here, which pushes the bar out. The tie bar to the steering, which ties up underneath. And just one cable that you had to install. If you get a chance, you should buy that when you're uh, fishing, especially alone. You can uh, it'll hold course while you set up lines. Uh, if you're reeling in a fish, it'll uh, you can control it with a remote pendant. I should mention I did put on motorized planing boards, and you can see my GPS antenna I put on. So this is the inside of the 682 after we've customized it and made it into a fishing boat. So first off, I installed these. These are the motor, the controls for the Big John planing boards. Um, another one on this side, and they're not really fastened. I just I put them on uh, HDPE, high density polyethylene. Kind of snuck them up underneath. Kind of worked out good. So next we got the like a 30 inch tree for our uh, planing boards. You can see the 48 inch Trax Tech track. I got two blue Cisco rod holders and I got one Canon. Uh, what I like about the Canon is when we're doing dipsy divers, all you gotta do is just yank that up. A little harder with the Cisco's. They don't. You have to release them with the, here and uh, tip them up or try and get the rod out. It's tough. Got Scotty downriggers, one on the starboard, one in the center, and one on the port side. And the same setup on the port, except we have the fishhawk fish hawk stand uh, and a tree. What I like about those trees was I was able to, you know, put the net in the top of them. It's kind of handy for us. Got the LED lights. I got the 4G radar, which are all added. I installed a fan for the captain. Uh, we have our radio, VHF radio. Got my cell phone holder. I do have a, a tablet for Bluetooth of the Fishhawk XD. Got my Lowrance HDS 12. Got my head control for the Garmin Reactor 40 for the autopilot. And the boat did come with a Lowrance. 7 inch for motor display. So no no physical analog gauges, it's all 
done by the Elite 7 Lowrance. The tabs, Lenko tabs, so that's nice to see with the digital display, so it's nice to see where they are. Um, I did add one switch for all my electronics to shut the electronics off. No changes there. This is so we got a side side control for the kicker, and that's the main 300. It's got a nice Bluetooth radio. Pockets on the side we use all the time, so you can see we got some fishing gear in there, and there's one on the side, the, the driver's side. But that's the that's what we've done. Oh, I should talk about the cleaning table. I love this fish cleaning table. It's uh, handy when we're fishing. We can set stuff on it. Got a little side. We got our uh, pliers, knives, toothpicks. You name it, we put in there. What I did on the back is I have a like a little trap door. So when we're fishing, the door is down. When I'm cleaning fish, the door is up. Let's see if I can get that. Let the juices out. And on the back here, I have a extended eave trough that takes all the juices out into the water. Before I had the eave trough on, all the guts were going onto the, the deck. So it was just a pain to clean. So I have an eave trough. I've had some old eave trough laying around. I'll put a little little lean on the table when I'm cleaning. Put the all the juices out. We got our uh, wash down. Got our wash down hose. That's that's a, a, a another must have when you're uh, fishing, cleaning blood off the boat. Use it for the fish table. We use it all the time. three downrigger weights and I got the two of the Dreamweaver ninja boards. So on the other side I got uh, Raytec planing boards and the flags. So I got two two planing boards that I'll use on the Big Johns and they come with flags. Uh, one thing I did on the side in this compartment here um, on this control here, I tied in a 68 LED UV light. Let's you charge up your spoons while you're traveling out in the morning. So this is what uh, the head, just bought this off of Amazon. So basically what I did was mount that head on the top of that box. It wires into a USB 5 volt USB plug then I had it come back to a switch on the side. Pretty handy. Okay so in this compartment here this is kind of our everything's in there that we need. Pliers, screwdrivers, fish hooks, soap, scissors. So a lot of that stuff comes back up into the side here when we're fishing. But when we're not fishing, it all goes back inside. So that's, that's been handy. So the boat does come with little LEDs for lighting up the, the floor, I guess, when you're fishing in the morning. But uh, to me, they're not bright enough. So I, I installed a 24-inch LED bar. I'm not sure if I can... I don't know if I can get it up in there. Eh, trust me, it's up in there. 24 uh, inch LED bar, one on each side. That really lights up in the morning. We're heading out half hour or more before sunrise, so it's dark. So. Okay, I want to show you one, one more thing in the motor or in the storage compartment. So I lift this up. You got a lot of room in there. 
So all I did, I put the plywood down just so I could have a, a base to put stuff on and keep it out of any, any water. Uh, I did put the fuse block in for all the downriggers, USB. You can see I got USB here that runs my camera on the back, my GoPro. And it also runs UV light that I was talking to you about on the side. But yeah, that's a, you know, it's, just, it's a good storage area. The Garmin Reactor 40 uh, electronic controls there, mounted there. There's another one. <laughs> yeah, there's the other Garmin. So all that's for, that's for the autopilot. And that one's for the autopilot. They go back here to the NEMA 2000, which goes to the Garmin and also runs to the dash. So one thing you got to watch with this big heavy door is closing it. You can see on the side we took a chip out of the gel coat and another one. I fixed this one but it looks like I got to fix it again. Uh, so when you're letting it down, there's a lot of weight there. Gotta let her down easy. Let's see. Okay, let's go inside. Let's have a look. Okay, so I did put my own custom rod holders on the side. One on each side with all our rods. Just to keep them up and out of the way. Um, floor storage under, underneath we got a couple tackle boxes, spoons, plugs, life jackets, extra life jackets. Um, now I have this here. So this came with what I thought was a fridge, but actually all it was was a cooler that looked like a fridge. So we yanked it out and I keep all my paddles, rotators, spin doctors. In nice uh, plastic containers, organized. I uh, wanted to show you the toilet. Nice to have this automated toilet. So, switch, flushing switches here on the side that pumps out and goes into a tank with emaciator. Pretty nice. So, lots of room under here. Could have a little nap if you wanted in between trips, fishing trips. Uh, mainly want it to hold fishing gear and uh, have a little uh, cuddy in case one of our friends gets sick and needs to lay down. So we're really happy with the boat. It's, it's uh, doing everything we wanted it to. All the modifications are done to how we like it so I know next season there will be no changes. We got everything we need. One last thing we did was to have a 70% tint applied to both the port and starboard side windows, which really reduced the heat in the cabin. It doesn't really restrict the vision uh, in the mornings, but it sure cut down on the heat. Okay, so that's our uh, Explorer 682, all rigged up for salmon fishing in Lake Ontario. Gotta love it. The following are the manufacturers, OEMs, fishing equipment suppliers, and others who help make our boat what it is today.